Hello, I'm Entris and welcome back to From the Depths, and we are pushing into the area occupied by the Deepwater Guard. So they have a gantry here, which builds mores. We have a barracuda coming down on us over here, with a shrike and a red tuna. And over here we've got a shrike and red tuna and probably red tuna, yeah. So the one thing I'm worried about here is a barracuda. Big barracudas are pretty dangerous. I mean, you know, mores can be dangerous, but... The Barracuda, because it's big and it has a load of fighters, it, it like draws your firepower away to many different targets, and then you have some issues. So I'm gonna try and take the Barracuda alone. Sure. Uh, fight. Okay. Twenty-one point three. Yep, we got all that. Uh, do we want to spawn in extreme range or close range? Honestly, I think probably close range, because that way we can fire off all of our missiles in one volley at the mothership, while it's still the mothership and it's not, you know, not diver di diversified? No, divulged all of its, uh, all of its ships. Let's do that. Oh, God. Basically, that area is to hit it, like, ASAP. And in fact... It's over here, whereas it's Shrike and stuff are over here. I want to be on this side of it. So let's make sure we are as close as possible. And yeah, sure, go on the other side. Okay. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Oh, whoops. Didn't mean to start that high. Oh god! Ow, I'm on board that! Missile system's down. Oh god. Everything is down. Look how close I am to being dead. I'm surprised that our missiles are still tracking. I don't think we've got, like, a lure block. So how are they tracking? I have no idea. I've exposed some of it. Yes. Good cram cannon. Good. I'm just going to keep this up. How are we doing over here with the repairs? That's not the repairs. How are we doing over here with... Ah, there we go. Much better. Stop shooting your own ship! Oh, for God's sake. Stop it. This is highly unfair. Right, we got this, we got this. Am I controlling any guns? Yes, I'm controlling all of them. Not that it really matters, let's be completely honest. Oh, nice! The AI Vastran making, uh, making good work. It's the AI Va Vastran, which is just the class designation. It's called the Vastran. We're being hit pretty hard by fighters out there. It doesn't really have any fighter defense, that's the issue. Lots of missiles coming in, and it's anti-missile missiles leave something to be desired. Oh god! Ow, 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 ow. They're really going for the ammo hold. What is it they've got? Control systems? No, they hit the ammo hold. That's the ammo hold gone. Oh, though I think we destroyed something of theirs that was ammo-y, maybe? Stop focusing on the fighters and take this guy down, because he will heal the fighters. Because, annoyingly, he has a lot of heal system born. You know how I feel about heal systems. I often think they're kind of OP. Good. Keep it up. Ow. Oh, poor bastard down there. No! We don't get many of those shots. We need them to hit. Right, where's our other... Frigate. That, that's two of them right there. Oh, for God's sake. If you're going down, it looks like we might be able to get a chance to board you. Anti-missile missiles are not working for some reason there. Hmm. 
Yes, it's coming down. Bring it down, bring it down. Oh, for God's sake, I'm going to need to go and manually control whatever the hell's going on over here. Yeah, our missiles have been taken out. I might need to stay here just to repair these. There's so much damage. Without any missiles. At least we've got the anti-missile missiles back online. Not that they're really much use. Aha! I need to kill that fighter. I can't get out quick enough. Get me out! Oh, for God's sake! Ah! Right. Uh, everything is destroyed. This is this is not good. We killed it. We killed it. It's going down. Right. Need to just kill that fighter. Come here. Right. Now the balloon's out. I can focus on taking out the fighter. Or maybe I take out the AI and make it mine. Yes. Right. Where's the AI? There. There's the AI. Right. Oh, for God's sake. Getting shot at. Where's the nearest fighter? God, there's torpedoes. I think they're torpedoes. I'm not even sure these days. Not of repairing to do. We need an engine on board if we actually get out of the water. I don't know we've got the like the materials because we've taken so much damage. We must need it. Oh yeah, we got a kill. I think the rear, yeah, the rear missiles are actually still missiles though. We've actually got missiles on this thing. They just are below the water line. So now we're bringing them like the rear out of the water. We're doing okay. Ah, uh, missiles! Oh, the anti missile missile there. Just clinch, clinch that. Come here. Uh, way, way short. Ah! Ah! God damn it. Okay, right. Yeah, I totally did that. That was totally me. Um, missile! Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Don't want to be near those when they go off. Yes, that fighter seems to be coming down. Grenade, grenade, grenade. Again. Got this. Yeah. Awesome. Things are too damaged over there. I'm not exactly sure if that's our stuff or their stuff. No, we won. And we did capture a tweeny refit. I'm not even going to bother repairing you, tweeny refit. I'm sorry. We've got another twenty refit. I'm gonna scrap you. Um, ninety percent, seventy-eight percent, eighty-eight percent. Oh God, ninety percent. That's. I'm actually gonna merge them. 
and we're going to pull back. Now, the reason I didn't merge them before, people were like, why didn't you merge them? Uh, it's because I wanted them to be able to, like, act independently so I could have, like, one person come around over land to be able to flank with the airship. Oh, I don't think we have enough resources. I think we have to go back just to heal. That was rather painful. Can I, like, give them... You're st Why are you still moving that way? You're really weird, you know that? Um... Right, fleet move mode. I am in fleet move mode. Why can't I give a... But I am in fleet move... I am, like, I'm not imagining it's right. I am in... Well, I'm clicking it. And you're floating off in a random direction. You know what? I don't know anymore, man. I just don't know. I need to pull them out, that's why. Okay, there we go. And let's not do the whole altitude thing which resulted in us like falling out of the air. Okay. Right, let's get out of here. How fast are you moving? Seven. Oh, okay. Right. That first battle could have gone better. Uh, one thing I will do to our ships is I'm actually going to change their depth requirement. Because part of the reason they're turning over is they are... They have a different requirement of ten. And they use about three meters of, like, if that, right? They don't need much depth. But apparently... The AI in this game is incredibly stupid, and he's like, yeah, I'm still going to ram stuff anyway. It's like, dude, you've got a depth requirement of 10 meters. Why are you going there? Because I feel like it. It's, uh, apparently, people have been saying, who've downloaded my craft off the workshop, have said that, yeah, if you give them 20 meters, they work fine. Um, so what we'll do is we'll play this fleet, and... do 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 Ah! Do 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 There we go. They have a movement algorithm. Depth requirement twenty meters. Done. And while we're here, what we might do is change your minimum range down to a hundred, just because it is resulting them like trying to turn around, and I don't want to turn around because it takes the weapons off target. Ninety nine. There we go. Now, I could do this, like... Oh, God. Oh, this is going to be fun. Let's detach my camera. I could do this by using a prefab, but that would involve renaming everyone, because prefabs, if you, like, retrofit, it renames everyone. I really wish it didn't do that. I, I don't see a circumstance under which you actually want that, but... Dems to breaks, as they say. That doesn't take too long to do this. Do, 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 do. Right, let's go in here. Hello. I would like you to be 20 meters. And I would like you to be 99. Right. Done. Pull. And with that, we're going to go invade this territory here. 33. So it could have a barracuda as well. Which I'm not looking forward to, considering last time we didn't get off very well. And in fact, it was a vast run that saved our ass. I think the answer is we need more top cover. Or we need a big gun. And I mean a big gun. I don't mean a, you know, piddling gun. I mean a big gun. All right, let's... What is you? What is you? What are you? My God. Angry chi... Oh! It's angry chicken time, boys and girls. This is going to be fun. We're also going to be fighting the angry chicken in a narrow strait. Let's not do that. I'm going to wait for it to come to me. Because, my God, I'm not fighting the angry chicken in a place where I'm limited. Now, the angry chicken, for those of you who don't know, is like a giant flying battleship type thing. Um, but it's more amusing. 
it's it's really quite weird actually. How many results have we got to here? Uh, about a hundred thousand or a thing or more. And now we're just absorbing it. Nom nom nom. Right, angry chicken, come fight me. Now, I would like to change my fleet so that we are... Oh, God. I think we end up in a battle that I wasn't paying attention to. Down here? Where? Oh, up here. Oh, it, it hits quicker than I expected. Very well. We will take the fight. Come here, angry chicken. You're going down. Now, I've just got to think of all the chicken jokes I can use, all those sort of one-liners. If I don't win the fight, then I'll have no use of them, but for now, I'm going to just spend my time thinking about one-line chicken jokes. Right, let's go here. Tab, NN. I don't think many of the missiles got through. None of the missiles got through. Right, this is the angry chicken. Look at those cannons. This is why we worry about the angry chicken. We managed to take out its ammo supply, though, but still. This is why we worry about the angry chicken. Look at the amount of firepower it can put down range. Look at those green things! Oh my god. We still bounced a load of them, but look at the damage it did. Oh, oh, we're, we're getting slow. We're chugging. We're chugging. Oh! We managed to... S the, the central bit is just gone. It's gone. That's it. It's going to be despawning. Two damage. Well, yeah. The entire central compartment's gone. Wow. I mean... It's an impressive craft, don't get me wrong. In a kind of derpy way. But look at that. And that was one volley that hit us. And we bounced most of it. Right, repair. I hope you have the resources to actually repair. Uh, it's got like a 90,000... Natural. What we'll have to do is build a craft that can go around and, like, eat resource points. Like, just a ship that can do it rather than an actual fortress. And then we'll just take it around and just absorb these uh, effectively kind of almost worthless resource points. I mean, you know, they're good, but just for short term, I'm going to grab your resources. Because they don't refill. Meh. Okay, up to 90%. I hope we have enough resources to repair. Oh no, we're getting rather low on resources to repair with. Mm, yeah, we'll pop down here. Grab some of those and come back. Hopefully that'll be enough. You know what? No, let's just pop down here. It's pretty much the same distance. Right, come for me. Come on. Bring it. You have, like, easy. Easy peasy. I don't need to, like, you know, really think about this one in detail. You're so dead. It, you know... I would say it's not even funny. It is kind of funny, but that's just that because I have a roll. Come on. There we go. I'm not controlling guns. I'm not controlling guns. Excellent. That red tuna. Took a cram cannon shell. Now has taken a load of missiles. 
Der Shrike. Oh, Crime Cannon Shell missed it narrowly. Oh! Very nice. And, ooh, that might actually get some off. No, 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 it didn't. It didn't actually have any AI or weapons left on board. Uh, is that it? Is there a red tuna somewhere? No? Alrighty then. Are we even damaged? Probably. Yeah, we're ever so slightly damaged. That'll hit right quick. Okay, let's take this on. Oh no, maybe we should take this on first. Alright, let's just claim this post. No, claim this post, then go back. And then like that, so we don't trigger this one too early. How are you doing? Did you repair? No, I'm staying at 93. Yeah, you ran out of resources. Okay, bring it. Right, what are you? Shrike and a sledge. Oh, well. Oh, hello. No, I can fight you uh, in addition, but I'm not going to. Okay, yeah, yeah, I thought you'd join the battle. No, no, we're going to take this, and honestly, it's going to be one of these battles that is over before you really know it. Hi, Shrike. Yep, you're already taking hits from my guns. These guns are reasonably good for anti-air, which is, you know, why I'm quite pleased with them. Those missiles just decided, oh, by the way, I'm going to go hit the sledge. And then I think run out of power. Those ones were targeting the Shrike and then hit the sledge. Sledge is dead. The missiles the sledge got off are being intercepted. Oh, hello. One of them's going to get through. Because of incompetence. Oh! One block falls off the side of my ship. Oh, oh, woe is unto me. Woe is unto me, ladies and gentlemen. I'll repair it anyway, because that's just, you know, how I roll. Uh, right, this is another gantry with a mole. We'll take that puppy down. I think that'll probably have to be next time. Mores do tend to lead to long battles, especially with, you know, uh, inland type platforms. Just because the sheer nature of the fact that, oh, we can't get on land. The vast rank can, but yeah, the vast rank might get shot down or something. Wait, which one? Tab, NN. Boats. Hey, boats. Need to talk to you. Oh, God, you're moving at the same time as I want to talk to you. This is going to be fun. What I should do is just hit B. And then be like, hi, I'm, oh god, I'm, no, don't attach me sideways, it makes me all confused. There we go, so much better. And then, why am I going this way? That's not the way to go. Well, that could have ended badly. That way lies the enemy. Come here, come here. Hey up. I want to have a little go at changing your requirements. Set you to 99. And it wants 20. And I've got to guess which one I had last time. I'm guessing it's the one on the right. Hop. Whee! Excellent. It was mostly a guess. Right. Well, we are at the position that I wanted to be at. So if you have enjoyed, please leave a like. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Once you're repaired. Oh, you are repaired. How did you repair? Oh, I guess you passed these and they had resources in. Okay, well. 
we'll continue our advance then, I guess. Uh, yeah, if you have enjoyed, please like, not subscribe, please consider subscribing. Bear in mind that if you are watching this on the day that it goes up, there is a stream tonight. We're starting a new show. It's uh, me, Avak. Uh, uh, you may have seen from my other Thrawn the Depth series. Um, and also Stijo, uh, Splattercat, and Shenry all playing some Shadowrun tabletop RPG over our new channel. Roll for it. So twitch.tv forward slash roll for it. It'll be amazing. I've actually got a video about this announcing it the other day. I'm just mentioning it because I should totally like pimp the channel and all that. So yeah, check it out. It's going to be awesome. Anyway, stay shiny.